For this problem, we are required to determine the value of the flexion at mid-span. Step number one, determine the value of reaction, wall shear, and wall moment. Para sa ating prop beam, meron tayong reaction sa prop support or sa point B, tawagin natin itong RB, at meron tayong shear sa built-in support or sa point A, tawagin natin to na shear A, and meron tayong wall moment sa point A. Step number 2. Sketch the elastic curve of the beam, taking into account the boundary conditions. Kapag nag-drawing tayo ng tangent line sa point A or sa built-in support, ay horizontal yung tangent line na magagawa natin. Thus, the value of slope at point A is equal to 0. At dahil din merong built-in support sa point A, walang deflection sa point A or the value of Y is equal to 0. Kapag naman nag-drawing tayo ng tangent line sa elastic curve sa point B, yung value ng slope sa point B is not equal to 0. Pero dahil support yung point B, yung value ng deflection sa point B is equal to 0 or the value of Y is equal to 0. Step number 3. Use the method of sections to determine the bending moment M at an arbitrary distance X from the origin. Para sa problem na to, Yung point B yung ginawa kong origin ng distance X. Take note, make all the loading continuous up to the last segment. Dahil hindi continuous yung ating uniformly distributed load, ang gagawin natin sa ating uniformly distributed load is gagawin natin siyang continuous hanggang sa distance X. At dahil nag-add tayo ng load, nabago ngayon yung loading ng beam. Kaya dapat kung ano yung load na dinagdag natin ay ibabawas din natin. Mag-take tayo ngayon ng moment sa distance x. Moment is equal to EIY double prime. Unahin natin yung RB, upward, therefore positive moment. Moment R magang distance x is x. Sunod ko naman yung 430 newton per meter load na pataas. 430, ang length niya ay x minus 2. At ang moment R niyan ay x minus 2. Over 2. Next naman is yung 430 newton per meter load na pababa. Therefore, negative moment, 430, ang length niya na x minus 0.70. Ito pa lang yung load. At ang moment arm niya hanggang distance x is x minus 0.70 over 2. I-simplify ko lang yung ating moment equation. 430 over 2 is equal to 215. Dalawa yung x minus 2, kaya magiging squared. Same as to this, 430 over 2 is 215. Dalawa yung x minus 0.70, kaya magiging squared. Step number 4. By integration, integrate the expressions for m twice. Obtain an expression for EIY. I-integrate lang natin ng isang beses yung EIY double prime. Equal yon sa EIY prime or slope equation, RB, ang integration ng x ay x squared over 2, plus 215, ang integration ng x minus 2 squared is x minus 2 cubed over 3, same as to this, x minus 0 0.70 cubed over 3, and do not forget the constant of integration. I-integrate naman natin yung ating slope equation, Equal na yon sa deflection equation or EIY. RB over 2, ang integration ng x squared ay x cubed over 3. Plus 215 over 3. Ang integration ng x minus 2 cubed is x minus 2 to the 4th over 4. Same as to this, 215 over 3. x minus 0 0.70 to the 4th over 4. Plus C1x plus C2. I-simplify lang natin yung denominator ng equation na to. Step number 5. Evaluate the constants of integration from the boundary conditions. Dahil sa point B tayo nag-start ng x, therefore when the value of x is equal to 0, the value of y prime is not 0 but the value of y is equal to 0. And when the value of x is equal to 2.70, the value of y is 0 and y prime is also equal to 0. Yung unang boundary condition na gamitin natin is when the value of x is equal to 0, 
the value of y is equal to 0. y 0, x 0, x 0, kaso negative yung term sa loob ng parentheses, kaya not included, same as to this, x 0, therefore the value of c 2 is equal to 0. The next boundary condition is when the value of x is equal to 2.70, the value of y prime is equal to 0. Using the slope equation, substitute lang natin yung value ng x and y. y prime 0, rb unknown. Palitan lang natin ng 2.70 lahat ng x sa equation. 2.70 is squared over 2 plus 215 over 3. 2.70 minus 2 cube minus 215 over 3. 2.70 minus 0 0.70 cube plus C1. Kapag sinimplify natin yung solution, ito yung equation na magagawa natin. Tawagin natin yung equation na to as equation 1. Para sa ating next boundary condition, when the value of x is equal to 2.70, the value of deflection or y is equal to 0. Using the deflection equation, y is equal to 0, rb, palitan lang natin ng 2.70 lahat ng x sa equation, 215 over 12, 2.70 minus 2 to the fourth. Kapag sinimplify natin yung ating solution, ito yung equation na magagawa natin. Tawagin natin yung equation na to as equation 2. Using your scientific calculator, pwede mo makuha yung value ng C1 and RB simultaneously. Pero kahit wala naman, pwede pa rin natin makuha yung value ng C1 and RB using algebra. I-multiply lang natin yung equation 1 ng negative 2.70 para makancel out yung C1 sa equation. 3.645 RB multiplied by negative 2.70 plus 3.28 RB is equal to negative 6.5615 RB. Negative 5 for 8.75 multiplied by negative 2.70 minus 282.36 is equal to positive 1199.265. C1 times negative 2.70 plus 2.70 C1 is equal to 0. By computation, the value of RB is equal to 182.77 Newton. Using equation 1 or equation 2, pwede na natin makuha yung value ng C1. Gamitin ko na lang yung equation 1. Using equation 1, 3.645, then yung value ng RB, 182.77 Newton, minus 548.75, plus C1. C1 na lang yung unknown sa equation na to, kaya makukuha na natin yung value ng C1. And by computation, the value of C1 is equal to negative 117.45 newton meter squared. Using the equations of static equilibrium, makukuha na natin yung value ng shear A and MA. By taking the summation of all forces vertical is equal to 0, RB is equal to 182.77 plus BA minus yung load na 430 newton per meter. I-multiply natin sa distance nyan is equal to 0. And by computation, the value of sure A is equal to 376.23 newton. Next naman is mag-take tayo ng summation ng moment sa point A is equal to 0. I-take natin lahat ng counterclockwise rotation as positive. Yung RB muna... 182.77, magkikreate yan ng counterclockwise rotation sa point A with a moment arm of 2.70. Next is yung MA, dahil counterclockwise yung rotation niya, kaya plus MA minus yung load na 430 newton per meter multiplied by 1.30 and yung moment arm niyan is equal to 0 0.70 plus 1.30 over 2 is equal to 0. MA na lang yung unknown sa equation na to, and by computation, the value of MA is equal to 261.171 newton meter. Finally, masosolve na natin yung hinahanap sa problem na to, which is yung value ng deflection at mid-span, or when the value of X is equal to 1.35.
using the deflection equation and the values obtained na nakuha natin kanina, EIY at 1.35 is equal to RB, 182.77. Palitan lang natin ng 1.35 lahat ng X sa equation over 6 plus 215 over 12, 1.35 minus 2 to the fourth, minus 215 over 12, 1.35 minus 0 0.70 to the fourth, C1 is negative 117.45 times X, 1.35, and the value of C2 is 0. Dahil negative yung value sa loob ng parenthesis, therefore not included yung term na to. And the value of EIY at 1.35 is equal to negative 86.81 newton meter cube. By rewriting our answer, Y at 1.35 is equal to 86.81 over EI newton meter cube downward.